Hey everybody, Vaughn here with the Monster Vlog and welcome to day 196 of a year of yoga. We are just outside today. We're going to be practicing some like purely standing stuff. Um, so no mat required, no blocks or anything, just I mean unless you want. But it's been such a beautiful day. There's cardinals chirping about and like flitting all over the place. My girls are keeping me company and it's about to get cold and gross again tomorrow. So I want to start by finding a bit of ground. That's a good... Ah, right here is nice and flat. Um, <laughs> so I hope I'm still in frame, actually. Oh, well. <laughs> hey, Ginger. How's it going, little girl? You good, chicken? She said, no, I'm a bad chicken. <laughs> okay, so, and like the neighbors are cooking something and it smells amazing and there's like roosters yelling at each other. I feel so alive. <laughs> Let's inhale up, arms overhead, reaching into the sky, grounding our feet down into the earth and exhale down bending as deeply as we can keeping our heels in contact with the earth to get a nice stretch through the front and backs of our calves and inhale up come up onto our tippy toes perhaps and back down few more breaths here. And now just stand in mountain pose. Maybe feeling the thrumming of strength through your body is once you get it moving, getting that blood flowing feels so good. It's a completely different experience practicing yoga outside with the breeze and the birds and it actually for me it makes it a lot easier to lose myself and forget my thoughts entirely and just listen to the birds screaming at each other. Okay, from here let's shift our way into our right foot, grounding, sending our roots down. I'm actually, let me check, I'm going to do this barefoot. Just checking to make sure they weren't like, <laughs> I wasn't standing in a pile of dog poo or something. <laughs> so now let's literally send our roots down through our foot where we're connected to the earth. And then lifting our left knee up. Exhaling it open and placing the sole of our foot against our calf or your inner thigh. And extend your arms overhead if you're ready. Sway with the breeze, wobble and fall over if you need to. And Grounding down now through our left foot. Let's transfer that connection from one side to the other. When you're ready, lift your right leg. Bring that hip open and place your right foot on your left calf. Maybe wobble a bit. When you're ready, extend your arms overhead into tree pose. Woo! And come out of it. Let's inhale up again. And exhale, forward fold. Hey, chicken. <laughs> Just inhaling and exhaling, coming a little deeper. Letting your head and shoulders hang.
and then bend our knees generously and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Oh goodness. Let's roll those shoulders up and back. I'm going to go significantly wider now. Inhale up and exhale forward fold, hands to the earth if you like, and just shift our weight from one side to the other, stretching through our inner thigh area. And rise on back up. Inhale our arms overhead, turning our right foot facing like that away. Warrior one. <sighs> Inhaling back up to center, turning that right foot in. Let's turn our left foot out. There we go. And coming down into where you're one on the left side. Inhaling back up, bringing our left foot back in, rotating our right foot back out. Let's extend warrior two, growing from our fingertips, growing from the top of our head, keeping our knee traveling safely over our foot. You don't want to be splayed in or too far out. actually find uh, for me I'm never too far out so if I actually move until it feels like I'm way far I'm actually in my correct alignment so the more you practice the more you'll you'll get to know your body inhaling let's come back to center and exhale warrior two on the left Inhaling back to center, let's walk our feet in. From here, we're going to ground through our right foot again and lift our left knee. And while we're here, we may interlace our fingers behind us and travel our knuckles down our tailbone. <laughs> let's actually get our arms first. There we go. And then raise our left knee, bring some balance into this. You've got this, keep going. And down with our left foot, keeping our arms. Let's actually, whichever thumb you have on top, swap it. It's going to feel a little funny, but it's good yoga for the brain. Grounding through our left foot, finding a comfortable spot in the grass. And lifting up our right foot. Coming into balance here. And lowering that left foot back down. I'm a little tootsies are cold, chickens. So I'm going to pull my boots back on. I do think that's it for today. Just, woo, I'm fixing to, uh, well, this is a challenge in and of itself. Just trying to get my freaking shoes on without taking nature with me too much. There we go. <laughs> but uh, we're fixing to do a live stream over on the main channel. And uh, so I've got to go in and do all the administrative stuff for that. Oh, my feet are dirty now. Oh, I'll wash them when I get inside. Ah, oh, these are my garden boots now anyhow, so they're made to get filthy. But thank you guys so, so much for joining me here today. I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow for another day of a year of yoga. And until then, you guys, keep on keeping on. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>